Hello everyone! In this brief video we would like to show you how your employees who don't hold manager position can use Activity Timeline and its main features. The default view for employee users is called Work My Workplace. In this view you can see tasks that are assigned to you in different projects. On the Timeline panel you can see what's currently scheduled for you in this period. To navigate between different periods use a button on the top panel. You can also switch between one week, two weeks or even a full month view. If your permissions allow, you can also manage your own schedule by simply drag and dropping tasks from the left panel to your timeline and change its estimate. Also, you can create new tasks right from this view, both Jira and our custom ones. To remove tasks from your timeline, simply drag and drop it to your left-hand side and it will be unscheduled. Even though we recommend using Activity Timeline to manage your schedule, you can still do it in Jira, since our plugin is fully synchronized with it. This means that you can change the SNE of the tasks or the dates in Jira and it will be synchronized into our app. Usually start and due date fields are used, but it can be any field that your company is currently using. In addition to managing your tasks, you can also track your non-working activities like days off or vacations. Simply click on the required date and you will be able to choose what to add to the schedule. For example, here we create a partial day off that reduced our capacity for the day. Along with managing your schedule, activity timeline can also be used to track the spend time. There are a few ways how to log time to your tasks. The most obvious is, of course, to use the log work button. For your convenience, you can also use a timer, so you can simply start the time and once you're finished, just click stop and log the time. Additionally, you can also log time directly into the task simply by clicking on it and using the shortcut link there. But all these options don't force you to lock time through our tool. If it is more convenient for you to lock time through Jira or any other tool, you can still do that and Activity Timeline will still be able to synchronize all this data. After you lock all your time, you will be able to see it in the work lock table right under the calendar. If your Jira permissions allow, you will be able to edit your work logs if you made some mistakes or even delete the work log altogether. You can also export this table into an Excel format for further analysis. Another useful feature of Activity Timeline is the possibility to export your work calendar into your personal Outlook or Google Calendar. To do this, open your account tab in Activity Timeline and then go to the calendar integration page, create a link and copy it. After this, open your personal calendar application and add another calendar from the URL. After a few seconds, tasks will appear on your personal calendar. Lastly, we want to show you the planning module. Here you can see people from your team and their assignments. This is useful if you need to find out who from your teammates is free and can help you with your assignments. But the level of visibility depends on your permissions, so this view sometimes could be restricted from you. That's it from us. We sincerely hope that this video was useful and you learned something new today. However, that's definitely not all we have, so we advise you to check our other video to learn more about Activity Timeline. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our support, which is support at relax.com. See you in our next videos.